So, good morning. Uh, we are going to present to you our uh, proposed research project, which is entitled Solar Powered and Arduino Based Water Waste Collector. Uh, okay. So, the first one to present is Barbara Duliano for the background and rationale of the study. <coughs> So, sa background and rationale, this research project ga focus on the environmental issue, which is the water pollution. And water running through a water drainage system generally conveys alongside with waste materials, the majority of which are non biodegradable, which is ga kosha og floods as well as climate change. The pollution presents what in water can cause disease and danger sa mga tao. And this will truly work with solar power, nga, which is free from cost. And since dili na nato need og external supply of energy, makasave gid siya og money. And millions of discarded single use plastics have entered the terrestrial world, potentially causing a risk of plastics washing up on ocean shores and littering the seabed. Since na naman takaroon sa pandemic karon is which is COVID-19 ug tungod kita mang tanan gagamit og face mask, hand sanitizer and also face shield but unfortunately kani nga mga butang after ipanggamit sa mga tao usually nagid na siya sa landfill malabay but tungod dili gid malikayan nga nay uban tao nga ginalabay lang dito sa dagat or sa river nato that's why nag come up nga ni nga sa background and rationale because this Things are the motivation behind why researchers want to push these studies. This study. All right. Thank you very much, Miss uh, Barbara Doliana, for that very well said and thought background and rationale. So, uh, to continue with, let's uh, call on Miss uh, Merlis Merlis Lazaro for the proper statement of. The Okay, hello, good day to everyone. So, for our problem statement, we have number one as to evaluate how much energy consumption that the equipment will be using. So, very important to get no makabaluta, pila ihang watts, unsa siya, kusupo siya mukao kuryente, ana kay siyempre mag reflect ya po nasa pila ba ironon. So, you have also to consider the expenses. So, of course, you have to consider that. Next is to obtain waterproof equipment that can work in versatile weather conditions. So, especially nowadays, we cannot avoid that floods are everywhere. So, to obtain waterproof equipment that could work in versatile weather conditions. So, especially mga floods, karon dagan ba kay mga bagyo, we cannot avoid all the catastrophe. So, we have to consider also that it's waterproof. So, di siya magubat dali dali pag magbasag tubig. To investigate whether the prototype flo float properly while carrying the weight of the garbage collector. So, very important since garbage collector siya, paano kung dili siya makakayag kabugaton niya? Di man ginmalikayan na ay mga basura ng mga bugat or heavyweight. So, we have also to consider that na kaya niyang mag-carry of such um, kabugaton sa mga garbage. And of course, the last one is to identify a tracking device that can tell when the trash net is full. So, of course, di wala man gaya ay unlimited no, mga butang, except sa unlicol, kahit unlicol, at hindi kaya unlimited. So, we have to consider also nga, kinahanglan na ay ma-notify ta or something na ay tracking device na maka-inform to us nga full na siya and then we have to replace it. So, ganun. That's our problem statement. Thank you very much, Ms. Grace, uh, Ms. Mary Grace Lazaro, for the problem statement. Let's call on Mr. Pe uh, Pedrick Kapegsan for the objectives of the study. Uh, objectives of this study. The objective of this study is to create a prototype used in collecting floating waste that can help to reduce the amount of waste present on different water areas. It also aims to ensure the health and safety of every people and the water species. So basically, the 
overall objective of the study is to have the uh, clean re clean river or any water drainage. So the perfect example to place this type of machine is in the river. So most importantly is to save every species, a specific water species. That's all. Thank you very much, Mr. Pedrick Pakapegsan for the objective study. So let's call on let's call on Miss Shaira Arakel for the conceptual framework of the study. Thank you, Neil. Thank Good day, you. everyone. So we researchers um come up with this uh concept where we create a solar powered and Arduino based water waste collector that would clean water areas without endangering the health of gen of individuals. So in our concept, we have three main inputs. First, we create a comprehensive plan to reduce the amount of waste that ends up in the ocean. Second, we designed and created a prototype. Third, we gathered essential hardware and equipment so that we will achieve the final output of our, of our project to construct the Arduino solar based, solar powered Arduino based um, water waste collector. So this is our conceptual framework for our research. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Shaira Raquel. I'll turn off your camera now. So I'll continue with the review of related literature. So according to Maroon, out of 421, out of 421 rivers in the Philippines, 50 are considered dead and unexpected. So this is very important factor. Uh, uh, waste is very uh, waste is very crucial factor. Ang ganong mga mata ng atong mga rivers. And then there are uh, you really a uh, few uh, Ah, uh, support addition na mga uh, na practice. Uh, there is like pellet vented a device called Mr. Trash Wheel that can move trash present on the river where this. The device is there uh, uh, touch the river or the bay. So that would say automated sieve bin. Uh, automated sieve bin waste collector is a simple but effective stationary bin designed to float on marinas, waterways, and lakes. Left debris and traps are catched by bags sucking water from the surface and letting it flow out of the out of the bottom of the bin. So, a medyo nagin chay ko an kana kani siya comparison na nasa mong uh, review of uh, ang sa mong research project o kani siya na uh, automated bin. Medyo one again medyo uh, medyo pare pare ra again pero na, of course na ipod mo ang mabu ko an ang mabu pag present. That was a waste shark machine. So a waste shark machine. So Richard Hardiman of Run Marine takes a step to clean trash by creating the waste water out waste shark machine. The waste shark has an open mouth in the middle which extends one foot below to collect trash it encounters on its front. So more than the cow no and a shark. It has a filter that separates the oil from the water and also removes so, kanya siya ang kuan, medyo pariha na po siya ni sa among research project kaya gagawin siya po siya o ganda po ay siya ng monitoring device. Ang amo ka example ko, kung puno na ang bin na ang aparatos ni Magtex ay mo na pwede na siya po pick up na ang kuan, ang trash pit, ang trash nets. Kanya po kay Mr. Richard Hardiman, gagawin siya via GPS. Kung so lastly, can a recycled plastic uh, bottle boat. So the, the boat is composed of production of plastic bottles glued together with a layer of foam underneath for the ease of infiltration and some plastic sheeting for the feet and, and floor deck. So para mulutaw ang among kuan ang among ang apparatus. Uh, wala may lang gi uh, uh, kundi uh, mga uh, mga plastic bottles kada mga waste bottles na. So we recycle it and form it in a uh, multiple form and then make it together or uh, 
That's all for the review of related literature. So uh, let's continue with the design. So this is our design. So this is our design. It's like a barge uh, type of uh, apparatus, no? Uh, so unique na ano is, na, of course, gagamit mo yung sustainable energy, which is makuha natin sa solar panel, and then ang floater, which is ito mga recycled, but, uh, recycled bottles. So, unsaon niya pagkuha o pag-collect sa basura, no? So, we have used, we're planning to use a conveyor, a conveyor belt. For example, ang kanilang yung conveyor belt is um, half, half of the body of the conveyor belt is one foot below the water. So, maka, makakuha din siya o yan i-lift ang mga basura. Paingon sa conveyor deck na, na, na madala dahil uh, na, na, na iyang ilabay tayo din sa trash net. So, very kwan siya, no? I, I also like to emphasize of its uh, environmental use. Uh, na gagamit ng solar panel, dapat may mga recycled materials, and etc. So this is this design is very unique. This design is very unique. Um, makatabang ito sa environmental and water, especially sa uh, water pollution. So we are now done for our uh, presentation. We are now open for your questions.